Hello there, I'm Janko with more Pokemon Diamond Redo in the last part. We got here to the Pokemon League and I did some off camera training. Yeah, off screen training I should say. Uh, here's my team's um, movesets I guess. Inferno is level 62. And no, he knows um, Flamethrower, Foil Blitz, Fire Boss, and Close Combat. Karen is level 60 with the moves Aerial Ace, Night Slash, Dark Pulse, and Fly. Drago is level 60 with the moves Earthquake, Dragon Pulse, Dragon Claw, and Crunch. Bronze is level 60 with the moves Psychic, Extra Sensory Payback, and Gyro Bowl. And Rose is, um, I think this is the last Pokemon. Rose is level 61. I mean, no, she, uh, there's still um, Jet Jetta too. Okay, Rose is level 61 with the most Pearl Dance, Shadow Ball, Giga Drain, and Switch Bomb. And finally, Jetta is level 61 with the most Waterfall, Crunch, Ice Beam, and Surf. So, yeah. I have Inferno up front because the first Elite Four members use a Master, I should say Master, a uh, Bug type Pokemon. So, I have like a Fire Flying type up front, a Rock type even. And you should be good. So yeah, we can enter in. We already checked in with our badges last in the last part, so we have all we've confirmed how we confirmed with them with that ace trainer saying that we got all this H and badges of Sinnoh. So let's walk into the first room. Here is Aaron. Let's talk to him from the side, though. Yeah, let's talk to him. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon League. I am Aaron of the Elite Four. It's good to meet you. Oh, I shall. I should explain. I'm a huge fan of Bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon are nasties. Uh, dash mean, nasty mean, I guess you could say, and yet they're beautiful too. Would you like to know why I take on challengers here in this room? It's because I want to become perfect, just like my bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. Let's go, Aaron. Let's go. Okay, so we made it all the way to the Pokemon League. Let's just get this done. Let's have a good battle. Um, I have six Pokemon. He has five Pokemon. He starts off with his Dust Docks. Now, I already did a practice run of the Elite Four, and I did pretty good, so that's good. Um, I'm just going to use Flamethrower on this Dust Ox. So, this should one hit KO it, but if it doesn't, I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's level 63, so. Oh, no, sorry, it's level 53. I thought that was 63 for a second, but it's only 53. Okay, the Dust Ox goes down after one Flamethrower. Okay, cool. Next step is uh, Beautify. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep Inferno in, and the Beautify is gonna come out. I think the Beautify is also level 53, and we should have a you should have a lot of experience with fighting Dust Ducks and Beautifies, uh, thanks to Team Galactic because they always used to have them, at least at some point in the game. So there you go. This should this flamethrower should knock it out, but we'll see. It does knock it out. Awesome. Cool. There we go, that Beautifly goes down. And then his big guns is probably gonna come out next. Yep, his big gun, his Drapion. Yeah, I'm gonna switch Pokemon. I'm gonna switch to um Drago. Because Drago knows Earthquake. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Earthquake. I know I'm pretty sure it won't want to kill unless it's a critical hit. Because this thing's poison dark type, the only weakness is actually ground type moves, which I have earthquake. So I'm gonna um, put it down in the reds, hoping that it's citrus berry will activate. Because all of the Elite Four's best Pokemon have citrus berries as a health item, so they automatically kick in when they are at low health. So let's go for the earthquake, and that way I can just like faint it with the Dragon Claw after that, because it'll probably uh, restore it up to like uh, yellow HP or yellow, the yellow stage of the HP bar. So this probably won't only kill it, which kind of stinks. This thing's level 57 too, so it's the highest level Pokemon, of course. And there goes the Citrus Berry. My plan worked out great. That way, it's ba it's barely in, it's kind of in the it's in the middle of the yellow zone for HP wise. So it's um oh man, Ice Fang, I forgot he had that. That's super. That's pretty damn super effective against Drago. Okay, but like I I can hopefully just go for another Earthquake, which I'm gonna do that, and it should knock it out. That way he didn't have a chance to heal with his with Drapion's uh, HP yet still in the red zone because if I was still in the red zone or ended up being in the red zone still it, he would have healed up with like a full store so I, that worked out really good except for Drago did take a big hit with the ice fang and all that but that's okay Heracross is next okay so keep in mind that Heracross is bug and fighting type so that's four times weak to flying type moves so 
Instead of the flying type, but it's use a flying type move because they it will really do wonders for you. Now keep in I do remember this Heracross knowing Stone Edge, which is a very powerful rock type move, so it covers its weaknesses for flying types. But uh, I think this thing's probably faster than Karen, honestly. Let's see if it is. I'm pretty sure it's faster. Yeah, it's gonna get a close combat off of off of Karen. So yeah. So um it's being neutral effective, it does oh that's critical hit, isn't it? Nope it's not. Wow, that did a lot of damage. I thought I was only gonna do go on the like the deep the end of the green stage for the HP bar. But yeah, the um getting its special defense and physical uh defense uh well word after that close combat kinda helped. But yeah, I just we can one shot with that area, which is really nice. And as the last Pokemon is a Vespi Quinn. So let's switch back to um Switch back to Inferno, I guess. And just to make sure this Vespic one doesn't give me any trouble with like trying to stay uh, not fainted when I hit it, the super effective move, like a fire type move, I'm gonna use Foil Blitz on it. So, yeah. Inferno will have to take some recoil damage, but it should be worth it. You know, this Vespic one's level 30, 54, I'm also at 34. And keep in mind, only female combis evolve into Vespi Quinn. No, no male combis evolve into Vespi Quinn. So if you're wondering that, there you go. And it fainted, nice. Yeah, we defeated Leaf for Aaron. I will now c concede defeat. But I think you came to see how great Bucket Pokemon. I hope you enjoy the eyes of which you're freaking battling in a deep and complex affair. Jeez. Okay, I got, um. Double the prize money there, because Karen was in battle. I couldn't read most of your dialogue in battle, but I can read your dialogue outside of battle, which is nice. I lost with the most beautiful Pokemon, beautiful and toughest of the book Pokemon. We lost because I wasn't good enough. That's it. Back to training camp. Let me hear. Let's hear it, it for me. No, that was wrong. Uh, anyway, go on to the next room. The three trainers are waiting for you. They're all tougher than me. Okay. So. Let's see what can we use. Um, I bought some more Moon Moon Milks off screen too, by the way, and more items too. Um, you know, I don't want to use Moon Moon Milk actually, it wouldn't really be effective. Uh, one, one HP short for me, full healed Inferno, dang it. Okay, so I'm gonna use another Super, uh, super Potion on Drago. Another Super Potion on Drago actually. There we go. And I'll use a Hyper Potion on Karen. There we go. And you, want, for the next battle, you want to have ro uh, a Grass type up front. It's very recommended that you do that. So yeah, let's go to the next room. Although uh, I'm gonna end the part soon. We're not gonna take on Bertha, the second of the week for just yet. So yeah. So this has been the end of my Pokemon Diamond uh, Redo Walkthrough Guide part, and the next part will take on Bertha at Elite 4. So this is Jago again, I would like to thank you again, goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next Pokemon Diamond Redo Walkthrough Guide.